So by now you've probably seen the announcements and the discussions around Windows 10 Creator Update and that it's coming soon or some people already have it and that it can cause some issues with compatibility, for example, with the theming that I've done. But it is a new big update coming to Windows 10 and you may be looking at your system and being like, well, I don't have it. In this video, I'm going to show you how to force the Windows 10 Creator Update, but I want to mention here that I did this specifically on my virtual machine and I've never really gotten the virtual machine working again. It keeps getting stuck in a loop of wanting me to finalize the settings for the new update and then it basically crashes, blue screens, and reboots. Now, your luck will drastically vary based on the computer that you're using and it looks like it is actually letting me log in for once, but there is a huge risk that something could go wrong in the installation or you could run into some bugs by forcing it yourself. I need to put this disclaimer on there that Windows or Microsoft does give you the option to do, to do it, but they have said that that is more likely to cause issues with your updating process than just waiting for it through the normal Windows update. But if you want to know how to force the update to get the latest and greatest, I'll show you in this tutorial. Okay, so it does look like I have gotten into the system and it's on the latest creator update version of Windows. So it didn't brick the virtual machine. It just required a little bit more patience on my part as every time I tried to finalize the settings it blue screened, but it did give me quite a bit of trouble. So that is worth noting. I'm Adam Marie Postbox, and if you're like me and you've been patiently awaiting the Windows 10 Creator update, but Windows 10 just hasn't given it to you, it turns out you can actually force the update yourself. So there's a support.microsoft.com slash blah 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 link here. I will have it in the description below. Sometimes the direct Microsoft links don't actually work. I didn't give you the wrong link. It just sometimes it wants to load a custom link based on your computer. Uh, so you can either Google it, retype what's here or what have you. But all you apparently have to do is click check your version of Windows 10 or you can see where it says like you, you can tell it to kind of like remind the update system to do it. But if you go to the Microsoft download website here, which again, I will have a link to as well. Just keep in mind. The links can be finicky. You can actually tell it to update now and just download a forced installer for the creators update. So Windows 10 creators update now available, update now. And you can create installation media to do a fresh install if you like with this tool as well, which is kind of cool that it gives you. And then it downloads a, an exe and you just tell it to run. So we're gonna go ahead and click on it. You might have to approve some security prompts. Yep, there we go. Safe to close out of our web browser, and it's going to bring up the upgrade assistant, which we can use to update to the Windows 10 creator update. Update to the latest version of Windows 10. Yep. Yes, please. Update now. Again, you want to have backups. Of, I, I, I didn't mention this at the start, but I mention it every time I talk about doing major operating system upgrades, but you want to have backups of your main files. You want to have things, what programs you have installed written down just in case something goes wrong. Do a backup and keep things you know, written down as far as what you have and what you need on your system. Then it's going to go ahead and download the update and run through the installation process. First, it does need to download. And once the download completes, it will install the update. It'll need to reboot afterwards and you're pretty much good to go. I hope this video has been helpful for you. If it has, smash the like button get subscribed for more awesome tech videos i do have a couple more theming videos coming around windows 10 you guys seem to really like that so i have a couple more of those videos coming very shortly uh, but as far as this goes just let it do its thing reboot and then it will ask you to delete your version of windows after your certain things are stable and enjoy the new update and there is a new theme patcher for the creators update that i will be using for future themes for customizing windows so stay tuned for those videos and i'll see you next time